What is going on here then? Guys on TikTok, hang out two seconds. better how are we doing guys long time no see Pop these balls and then we'll get started. How's it going, Wayne? You're right. Both trophies, no, not yet. They're, they're behind a curtain. <laughs> Hopefully that uh, the video was all right, Will. I thought you'd appreciate the office reference, though. <sighs> oh, yeah, how are we doing, mate? You all right? Sunday morning. Oh no, I didn't. I was probably on my way home, mate. I'd just probably just lost. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing all right, though. Getting live for the first time in a while. Been away at the weekend in Blackpool, in Blackpool for the uh, Ultimate Pool Tournament. Got some new merch as well. If anyone's interested, my website is now available and my in my bio. Actually, that's only on TikTok, not on YouTube. So guys on YouTube, hang out. Cheers, mate. How's it going, MWAX? What did you get for winning the final? A trophy and a thousand pounds. Um, right, right in the chat, we're going to get straight into it because I'm only here for an hour and a half, maybe uh, max two hours. So right in the chat, what you would do, would you go reds or yellows in this situation? My match, yeah, my match went to a six red with uh, James. Again, right, what colour you would go? Would you go reds or yellows in this situation? Live on TikTok and YouTube right now. How are we doing, Eugene? I think it's kind of a 50-50 split. If you look at the worst balls on the table, the worst thing about reds, you're kind of forced to playing this ball first, which means that these two you're leaving. You could try and pop that, and if you make it, you've got a good chance of clearing reds. But there's a pretty sizable barrier of yellows guarding 
these or blocking these two reds. So I think ye yellows are a little bit easier just because they have more pockets. This ball's not great because it's close to a cushion and the first shot will probably be this one onto this one. But I think where you, you've got to land good on these two, it's gonna be difficult to do from these four. So I think for that reason, you'd probably go yellows. So we just gotta make sure of the plant first. Can't even do that. And then you re-wrap. No, to be fair, that's the first frame. So let's uh, carry on. Tried to develop that yellow a little bit, didn't. Made it ten times worse trying to go into it. No, we're near. All right, let's start again. If you guys have got any questions, feel free to ask, and they'll probably be live for hopefully about an hour and a half today. Play much snooker? No, I grew up playing snooker though. I don't really anymore. I need to get the scoreboards out, but I need to get the external chargers out for the scoreboard. So I'll have another, we'll call this one a practice frame as well. How's it going guys, good to see ya. Again, let's get it in the chat. Where about uh, what colour would you go for? What would you go for? Reds, reds or yellows? Again, don't just look at the uh, the colour that is the has the easiest starting ball. Look at the one that has the worst ball on the table. Which colour set has the worst ball? And then if you decide to go that colour, is it easy to develop that bad ball or land on it or what? So I think. Basically with reds, so out of all of the balls on the table, this is the worst ball, because it doesn't have any pocket to go into. It doesn't go in here past this yellow, it doesn't obviously go in there, so you're gonna have to move that. You could move it from here, but landing on that isn't gonna be super easy because you can't play this ball before this because it doesn't go past it. So I think for that reason you go yellows. You can at least pot this yellow, whereas you can't pot the, the red. The biggest problem with yellows will probably end up being the black because it doesn't go in there. But I think the yellows, they're a little bit nicer. They're not easy, but they're certainly easier than reds based on this ball. So I think with the yellows, the pattern is probably something like one to there, two and three. So you finish these three and then move up table. And what I'd probably like to do is play this and come and hit the black move the black to here and leave the white where the black is because then that move that creates two situations a i'm on these two yellows and b the black is in a position it can be potted into a pocket that's what i'm going to aim to do i'll then pop these two yellows black in the middle hopefully it's a big if <clears throat> down the table so I want to be here I don't know if I've got the angle actually but I want to be on that line mm. got a pinch your pocket a little bit here okay so again the objective here is to come back and hit the black the problem is I'm a bit far away from the yellow I'd like to be here to be able to do, play that shot it means I've got to hit this a little bit harder otherwise the spin is going to take before it gets to the yellow Objective, hit black, full ball. Oh, 
Okay, so it's just moved the black towards the middle pocket, left me in perfect position now. To be able to pop the black. Happy days. All right. Where's my next match? Not 100% sure. I'll take, the last couple of days have been kind of a, taking a break because the weekend was a lot of pull. <clears throat> Let's get the scoreboards out. I'm gonna grab my charger, get the scoreboards out, give me two seconds. Playing in a local league. Congrats on your reverse dish, Otto. But yeah, I play uh, the summer league starting up soon for us in my area. I'll be playing in that, but it's on a Tuesday night. It's nothing serious. It's a little bit of fun. Just more, it's more of a social thing for me. Gets me uh, away from my own table, I guess, for a little bit, which is good. Um, right. One set, sort the scoreboards out. Okay, so we've got the scoreboards out now. Um, because I'm desperate for frames, I'm gonna give myself that last one. So I've got one clearance from the break and one missed clearance. Uh, sorry, I know missed clearances because the first one was a practice. Do a bad break, try and clear the table. You'll probably find every break I do is bad, but we'll see. Okay. Again, any questions, guys, feel free to ask. Okay, pretty good split. What color are you going for if you're at the table right now? Write your color in the chat. Kind of a 50-50, really. So if you were at the table, what would you do? Would you go reds or yellows? So to answer any, like if you've got this concern about either, that red goes in that middle and that yellow also goes in that middle. So they're not really problem balls. All right, you've all got your, uh, your colors in the chat. Good stuff. Okay, so if I'm in a match here, the thing that concerns me about reds is the distance the white has to travel to get to each position. So really from this ball, the first shot, this one, you have to travel quite far to get to this one. And then you're probably going to leave distance to get on this one, which in turn, like then you've got to get back for this one. So reds are a little bit tricky. Yellows, you're still traveling a little bit, but it, the distance isn't as much. The biggest concern with yellows is the fact that this yellow doesn't go into really any pocket apart from this one. So this is probably the hardest ball on the whole table. You could play it into this one, but you've got to land on an angle like this to be able to, because the black's in the way, you've got to land on that angle there and that's kind of taking you in this direction, which isn't good. So really it's a 50-50 and based on the fact that I don't love this yellow, I'm kind of leaning towards reds here. Again, longer pots, but yes. Yeah, uh, try and land on it there but it's just or there could play it in there let's go reds let's go reds just again i, I think the cue ball is going to be a little bit easier to negotiate the uh the balls than they are that yellow so we're going to be leaving the long ball as said before um Just leave the cue ball away, slightly away from the cushion would be good, but I've got a feeling I'm going to be right on it. Oh God, how do you do that? <laughs> Tried to cheat the pocket and uh, hit the red dead straight. Right, I'm going to pretend I didn't pot the white there, just to see if I could have got out of this situation. So I want to leave the white roughly where the cue, cue uh, uh, where the red is. There you are. This one. 
You can choose which one to land on from this ball. Try and move the black again. That's a horrendous attempt at clearance this. shot there to the corner should never have been that close to a uh, straight but anyway we'll move on so that is one all again you guys got any questions feel free to ask live on TikTok and YouTube right now Music on the TikTok end, no music on the, the YouTube end of the table. Uh, let's get the scoreboard right, so it's one all. Nice one, Tony. What bit of advice was that, mate, if you don't mind me asking, because I, I give out quite a bit on the, on the channel. Splitting nicely today, I haven't had... I haven't had a dry break yet, and these breaks, these are the breaks that you need to have. Um, you need to finish these because you very rarely get a situation where every single ball has a pocket like this. So, what colour would you go for? Uh, fair enough, Tony. Yeah, that's definitely the best advice you can use in a clearance. What rules do I prefer? Flip a coin, mate. Black ball, black ball slightly, but I am leaning towards international rules because I'm playing it a little bit more now. Whereas my area, black uh, international rules is not really a thing. So, all right. So let's look at the layout of the balls. They're both really nice. The only real issue is the first yellow is easier than the first red, and this first red is probably going to move you into this, hit this red, and move it, which leaves you mm, that maybe. You could go either. The key with yellows is. Landing good on this ball second from this ball. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go yellows here, I think. Then I'll probably uh, maybe leave a plant. I don't know if I like leaving a plant on that. No, well, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so play the plant. I'll leave the cue ball just back an inch or two. I think the black was roughly there and the cue ball was roughly there. Let's see if I could have got reds. <clears throat> yes, Rusi. Sure, I could have got reds if I'd actually paid attention. Two one. Nice one, mate. You saw me in the quarterfinal make a complete idiot of myself then. <laughs> oh, by the way, anyone who wants to see highlights or a um, a vlog of the Ultimate Pool Challenger series, which is what I played on the weekend, I posted it on YouTube today. So it's a thirty-minute video. And literally gives you a behind the scenes look at what it's like playing on the tour, 
There's interviews with professionals like Tom Cousins, um, Sean Story. Uh, who else? Josh Kane had an interview with him. Uh, Hitam Patel interviewed. Uh, I also did commentary. So I commentated in the uh, boot, commentary booth uh, on some of the professional games. So if you want to see that, check out my YouTube channel. Uh, the link is in my bio. Oh, and be sure to like it if you can. How much is this table? Uh, it's about 1,700 pounds delivered. Oh, it's sweating so nice. Well, obviously I haven't potted a ball, have I? Oh, I have. All right, again, let's, uh, let's hear the color you would go for in the chat, reds or yellows. This is not an easy one. Which one are you going for, reds or yellows? Huh. This is difficult. Considering it's only practice, why not go for the harder layout? The reason why I wouldn't do that is because you wouldn't do that in an actual match. You would, you would never go for the harder, la harder layout. You would always just try and make the game as easy as possible. I get what you're saying. It, it, it practices playing out of difficult situations, but you don't want to ever find yourself in difficult situations. The easier you make the game, the more likely you are to win matches. That's that's what I would say. But I do I do understand what you're saying. All right, so uh, who is that? Who just wrote that? Baruch just wrote, there's no shot to develop these two reds. And he's exactly right. That's the reason why reds are probably harder than yellows. Whereas with yellows, if you, this is like, does it even go? It might go actually. Well, that yellow goes, so really there's no problem on yellows. The main issue is this one. If you can pop that first and get up in this position to be able to pop that second, the hardest ball becomes the black, whereas these two reds are really terrible. All right, let's make a good shot on this yellow and hope to come back and land in this position. If I make it, there's a chance of a finish. Okay, so if I can be on that ball, that would be ideal. Do I want to play it now though, that's the question. Do I want to go into that yellow? I don't think I do. I'm going to leave myself a choice of this one and this one next. Or am I? <laughs> yeah. I might try and come across actually. Should I push that yellow there? Should I have? Probably not. Probably shouldn't have pushed that yellow there. Maybe it got greedy. Got greedy. Okay, we're still on a choice of two yellows here. Really, I should be playing this one first because that brings me out to here. If I can pot it, it's a difficult shot. If I can pot it, I've got that one. And then I'll come up here for this one, and I don't need to do anything with the cue ball, the black goes in that corner. So really, one more good shot, and there's a chance for a finish. It's just a very difficult shot. Okay. Now again, I don't really need to do anything with the cue ball here. I'd like to be straight on the yellow, but I'm not fussed, really. leave the cue ball where the yellow is. Twat. I hate those shots. I hate those shots with a passion. <clears throat> Anyway, 2-2. Two, two. So if you've got any questions, the best time to ask me is when I'm here. What do I do for work? I run my own pers online personal training business when I'm not playing pool. Yeah, I did leave the white weird, you're right. Should have been dead straight on that. I just topped it through by about half an inch and it just caused me to have a weird off angle cut on the black where my hand was in a really weird position. 
Main difference between international and black ball. Uh, I don't know eight ball. If you're talking about rule sets anyway, there's really only two nowadays that matter. This break is ridiculous today. It's not the best I've been breaking for a long time. Let's hope it continues. There's a couple of main differences. Uh, best thing to do, I'd say, is to type it in on YouTube. Because it will take me a while to explain. All right, again, write your colour in the chat. These are nice breaks that are kind of giving 50-50 choices. So it'll be interesting to see what everyone's opinions are. Best place to buy a beginner setup. Depends what you mean by setup, like a table or a queue, or what do you mean? Okay, so let's look at the problems. With reds, not really any problems. If I'm being really picky, the black is in, not in a great position to land on this red into the corner. And that red also doesn't go in there. So that's being very, very picky. Um, what else? With yellows, a lot of separation from this one is like the hard, this is probably the worst ball on the table just because you have to be within this area to land on it. And then, yeah, it's just tricky, tricky to land on that. I don't love this one as well. So I'm gonna go reds here. I think I don't mind playing one, then this one to the middle and moving up table and trying to figure out a finish with these four and the black because they're really close together. Whereas all the yellows are really spread apart and you, like I was saying earlier, you don't want to travel the cue ball. So we'll go reds. That could have been that. Okay, so I'm going to top this through and hopefully leave myself as straight as I can on this ball. Might have to run into the black here. If I run into the black, it's going to be all sorts of problems. It's not great. This yellow stops me using left hand side to come back out to where that red is now. That's what I want to do, but I can't. So I've got to just hopefully get a little bit lucky here. Yeah, I didn't want to hit the black too hard. Okay, I need to find this gap on the second to last shot. So I need to be basically where the yellow is on this line, on the line of this yellow and this red. That's where I need to leave the cue ball from this ball. far is it? Of course it is. Too far. Uh, so bad. Got to play a plant maybe. So bad. Anyway. I knew the black would be an issue there, getting on that red. Good, thanks Pub Sports, how are you doing? Okay, what are we, 3-2 at the minute, or 2-3, not great. Let's uh, pick it up. Uh, because I've missed. If I'm, I either miss or I clear up. Or size tip, 8.9 mil on the plane queue. Where should you buy a table? From the link in my bio. Okay, so that's the worst break so far today. Not a great split. All right, again, what colour are you going for? Reds or yellows? Let's hear it. Because this is like super difficult, this finish. Mm. Not super difficult, but difficult. I think we go in reds, though. 
the reason why this yellow doesn't go past this red, red so this is the worst ball on the table these two are just too close to the cushion to be nice so you're going to land on a sharp angle on at least one of them um with reds if i can play this one first and land on that to the middle so if i can play this one to here play this one if i can get into the cue ball and move the yellow and leave myself on this so leave myself this shot i didn't just touch the yellow if i'm landing on that shot it should be an easy finish from there but we'll see Do I need to move the yellow? That's the question. I don't know if I do. If I get flush to the cushion on, on that red, it could be a bit of an issue getting back for the other reds. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get a bit of backspin and go into the yellow from here. Okay, so that obviously makes things a lot easier now. Uh, the finish should be something like screw back from that to here, Play this one to here, play this one to there, play that one, play that one, and then play the black to that corner, something like that anyway. Okay, let's go again. Three, three. <clears throat> Lucky. Not about that. I'll always admit when I'm lucky, and I don't think I was there. Okay. You ever tried gloves? Yeah. Doesn't suit me personally. I'm, I'm a weird one. Basically, I rely at least I think I do anyway, I tell myself I do. The feeling of it going like across the top of my left hand like this, the feeling of the cue going across the top of my left hand sends very much like a lot of information to my brain I get from that contact <laughs> on this part of my hand. So I know how hard I'm hitting it. I Yeah, it gives me a lot of feedback. When I put a glove on, I lose all that feedback. So I don't know if that's everyone else, it might just be me. nasty um right i can't go yellow so i don't think mind you this this is a problem i can't go yellows because i don't have a ball to go for so i've got to go reds and i've got two problems to figure out how do i land on that ball no not even land on it how do i move that ball and how do i pop that yellow and red using another red I think I'm probably going to play a Karen Billiard from this. So a Karen Billiard is basically, how do I describe it? If ever, anyone's ever played Karen Billiards, it's where you've got a cue ball. It's a massive table. It's, you've got a cue ball, a red and a yellow, and the objective, it, it's got no pockets. The objective is to hit other balls. So you can play a billiard shot from here. So say if I land on this, I can play that red, the left-hand side of it. Don't worry about the pot. But the objective being hit the cushion with the cue ball and go into the yellow and what and pop the red. What that will mean is I've hit the red first and I've used the cue ball to pop off of it. So that's what I'm going to aim to do. Just want to find the angle for that. It's probably from this ball, but we'll see. Um, 
yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll come back to that. No, I don't know if I've travelled far enough, but. We'll see. Okay, so I think now is the time to play the carom. So again, objective, hit that red, go off of it, get the white to hit there and pot the, pot the yellow, hoping I leave myself either on this or on this. Oh my God, how do you miss that? How do you miss that? That's frustrating. That is frustrating. Because I brought the red out nicely as well. I just hit it too thin. Uh, sorry, too thick. I didn't really want to hit the cushion. I wanted to go straight into the yellow there. But. Did I give it left hand side? Probably unintentionally, yes. I think coming from the weekend where the cut where the cloth ugh, the cushions I were mainly playing on weren't quite as grippy as this, uh, sorry, as slidey as this. It's just adjusting for to slide. Because this is again the first time I've played on my table since Wednesday last week, so a week. Again, they're splitting up so nicely. Just need a ball. Just need a ball. Right, what colour are you going? Wait, why does that say five? That should be three, I think. That's three and three. Yeah, what colour are you going? Reds or yellows? They're both terrible. <laughs> ah, mm. They're not terrible, but yeah. So first thing, we look for a ball that we can actually pot with yellows. Can maybe pot that, but that's super difficult from where I am. I prefer the yellows, like I'd rather be yellows, but I don't have a first shot on yellows, so I've got to go reds and pot this one first. Got to figure out some kind of plant on these two, just generally make it up as I go along. I kind of don't really want to play this ball now because that leaves a lot of separation from these four and this one. I think the ideal scenario is this could be, this will be last ball, ideally because of where the black is. But there's going to be a lot of travel on the cue ball right now. Um, hmm, do I leave? Okay, no, I think what I'd probably do is play this one first actually. I can top through to there get rid of the one that's separated from the other four, get into a position like this, and then figure out something with these four where I play a plant. Like that's a loose plan, let's put it that way. Could try and go into these reds now. Could go into them. I'm gonna try, try and go into this red. The jaw, but I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad. So this is the shot I need to leave from here. Mm. Is that high enough? So this is the key shot now. Gap. Oh, that's so irritating. I don't think that goes literally a millimetre to the right or left, and this is fine. Oh, that's irritating. I can't pop the other one either. I've got to try and hope that my pockets are forgiving today. No, I'm just going to give it a chance, Jesus. 
That's terrible. <clears throat> How are we doing, ref? Good to see you. Was I breaking this big? No, mate. <laughs> my break was terrible over the weekend. In my last 32, I had, I broke four, four times and I had three dry breaks out of four. And my opponent dished all for all three of them. Bouncing off the rack when doing a strong break. Uh, what do you mean, going up in the air? You could be putting a bit of top spin on. Is that it? Brush your table. Oh, coming off the table. Make sure you hit front and center of the front ball. You're probably hitting off the edge of the ball. Why can't I do this in tournaments? <laughs> it's it's not but it's not a great split, but it's better than I had uh, way back before the old McCall weekend. It's going a little bit better today. Uh, I mean, again, you've got to develop an issue. You've got to develop problems. This yellow doesn't go. That red doesn't. Neither does this red, and obviously the black. So that, in one way, some way, shape, or form, you're gonna have to hit all of those. At least one of them, but probably all of them. So which of the colours do you do that with? With reds, you can maybe cut that, but then you're not leaving a choice of these two. I think where there's more yellows on the table, that equals more opportunity to go into this from one of maybe these. Far, not five, not this one, but maybe one, two, is that the ball? That might be the ball. This might be the ball. If I land here, I can play that and go into it. So I think yellows just gives you a little bit more choice. from that cushion all right now i'm obviously on this ball and it's easy but i've also got the angle from this ball to here now what that's going to do if i play that to go into the problem you've got two choices basically you've got one you can play this and then hope to get into a position off of one of these two from this to be able to go into the pack but i think doing that straight away and this is where a beginner or an intermediate player might differ is they'll look at this and just think okay well at least i can pop that that's not the issue. The issue is you have to break these two up. So doing that straight away, all that's gonna do is take a yellow off the table. It's not gonna do anything that benefits you. So playing this shot going into that, you are left with an extra yellow, but at least you're attacking the problem early. Remember, you have gotta try and attack those problem balls as early as possible. And then we'll try and worry about this one later. This is a hard shot, by the way, very missable. Broken up the problem, ish. Mm, it's okay. Could be better, but it's okay. Did I foul? No. VAR, no foul. So look, we come back and now we're on this and look at the beauty of having this and no problem to develop. The only thing I've got to do is land on it. So all I've got to do is play this. Either I can choose to play it to here and then try and pop that down the line, which I'm probably going to do, but I hate those shots. So alternatively, I could play it to try and land up here and play a double. I'd much prefer that, but I don't think I can get that much movement with the angle that I've got on this shot. So I'm going to leave myself a long shot down the rail. Again, not a fan of these shots. But 
give it a chance, play it plain ball, come off cushion, leave black to the same corner pocket. Just give it a chance. Or do that and don't give it any chance. That's why I hate those shots. You give me that, double. If I come back up for that and land it good on it, that goes in for me nine times out of 10 that shot, whereas the rail shot just doesn't. <laughs> but let's just big pockets. All right, anyway, let's carry on. Again, if you guys got any questions, feel free to ask. Appreciate the likes, follows, subs. Again, pretty nice split, nothing down. What would you guys do, reds or yellows? Any advice? Don't worry about winning, worry about playing your best. If you go in there with the aim of winning, you'll get really nervous, put a lot of pressure on yourself. Just go in there and focus on hitting balls and potting balls. Okay, so the worst two balls on the table, these two, they obviously block each other and they don't easily double because of this yellow. So I think you've got to go yellows in this situation. This is just starting yellow, run into the red, leave this one second, this one third, and then you've probably got a fairly straightforward pattern with these. It's probably gonna mean that you're gonna to have to leave a gap on this one or maybe on this one. You're gonna to have to play it through the gap here or through there. Um, yeah, if I make sure of the first three balls, and then we'll figure out a pattern on those last four. Got to make sure of the first shot first. <laughs> Goodbye, Will. <laughs> Okay, so which gap are we going to leave? That's the question. Now we're in the position for these last three, our uh, last four. Do I leave this gap or do I leave this gap? If I leave that gap, that would mean I could potentially play back to here, play this one middle corner. I think I'm going to leave the cue ball where this yellow is. And all I've got to do. This is going to leave me a choice of two balls here. Just screw back an inch. So I've got a choice of two. I can play this one now. I'm not going to. I'm going to rely on making this one to the middle. And with this one, slightly weird angle, I'm going to try and just nudge the red. It's in the middle pocket. <clears throat> All right. Cheers, mate. Is it? It's four all, surely. Can you pop the back? That's the worst break I've today. Again, 
both colours you're going to have to develop. I think with yellows this is going to be a harder problem to develop, whereas with reds if you land in this position you can go straight into the pack with a red. So for that reason I'm going reds. Hmm, saying that though. I don't love reds, but I've got to go reds. Okay, the key is to leave an angle on the last one. Not do that. This is the angle I was talking about. Would have been on it as well. Would have been on it. <clears throat> All right, let's try and land it on a dime. Let's try and land the cue ball on the chalk. Take it. <clears throat> okay, probably got about another twenty minutes, I reckon, guys. Anything else you want to see, write it in the chat challenges or anything like that, let me know. Alexa, skip. Try and pop the black off the brake. You get it moving, but you can't play. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. All right, I think we're going in yellows. Slightly nicer. Set them reds. Let's do that. Just careless, really. Last few clearances been just careless. Nice one, Callum. You alright, mate? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do something different. Let's do the 45 ball drill. Let's get 45 ball, balls out and try and clear the table.
the meantime, guys, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Let's get rid of the scoreboard. there. When did I start playing? When I was five. Pretty much when I was five. I'll straighten out the lines in a minute. Heavy or light cues? Uh, 18 ounce would be my answer to that. Depends on whether you count that as heavy or light. For uh, reds and yellows or solids and stripes? Reds and yellows. We don't use solids and stripes in the UK. This is, I only have this set for you guys. <laughs> All right, where the rest, where is the rest of the balls? What am I missing here? Snooker. There's a snooker set here somewhere. How's it going, Bob? Good to see you, mate. All right. Let's get these lines straightened up, and then we're going to get going. play snooker not really grew up playing snooker but I don't really play it anymore it's just too difficult <laughs> all right that'll do <clears throat> the objective, don't hit any other balls, clear the table, you're not allowed to plant, you're not allowed to double, they're, they're the only rules. Sorry guys, TikTok make you verify the live for no reason every so often. I forgot how difficult it is to put balls down that rail. If I can get over 20 today, I'll be buzzing. That's the objective, get over 20. Practice, Marley. Drills like this will help you understand how hard to hit the ball to get it to go where you want to get it. As usual, it's taking me about 
20 goes just to get past three balls. This is a very common occurrence when I do this drill. It takes me a long time to start to register how, how hard to actually hit the cue ball. How much chalk? Barely any. One block of this will last you like six months to a year. But it is more expensive. I didn't even see that, I was just lining up the eight. I didn't even see the orange.
solenoid. What an idiot. Can't put that red. The only thing that goes is that red in there. You've got to try and screw up here and go through that gap. <laughs> Almost impossible. Tell you what, that red goes to middle as well, but it's just impossible to not hit a colour. You need to hit the cushion, come away and avoid this yellow. With this shot. Take it. I shall take that. That might be the best shot I've played all year. <laughs> Problem with this, this is where you've got to be thinking. The longer you leave these ones on the rail, the harder it's going to be. You need to leave balls in the middle of the table because it's really easy for me to just pop this. But looking at that, I want to get rid of that ball now, but I'm probably going into that red, so I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> those shots and I hate that pocket. Always rolling out of that pocket. Let's carry on. Let's go again even. Yeah, my cue was uh, finished with cue bar on the other day, mate. If you go on my YouTube, go on my YouTube page here, I posted a video where I, um, a vlog of the Ultimate Pool Challenger series I've just played on. It's about a 30 minute video, but it's, uh, the guy who basically works with that Q-Barm, Q-Barm Gym his name is, or Q-Care Gym, he's got a bit, he, there's a bit with, with him in it and he explains what it does, it's really good. I don't even know how many I've got there. A few. It's the most I've got in a while. So the cue that I recommend is the Ultimate Pool Master Cue. The link to it is in my bio. I think I touched out, but it's game over anyway.
Sorry, so in my bio is my website, and on my website is the link to the queue. How's it going, Jack? Good to see you, mate. Yeah, thanks. It's going all right. Still the bane of my life, this drill. But it's all a bit of fun. Nice one, Jack. Good luck with it tomorrow, mate. That is drill over by the looks of things. Frick. That's so annoying. <laughs> Ugh, careless. Only hope I've got is potting that off the cushion. No chance. All right, I'm going to give it one more go, and then I'll be it for me today. I want to try this on a nine ball table. I reckon it would be so much easier. <laughs> nice one, Joe. Alright, that's a bit done guys. I'm just messing around now. Alright, thank you so much everyone for watching. Let's put these balls back. If you've got any last second questions, feel free to ask. Uh, but yeah, I've got dinner now, unfortunately. I'm going to shoot off. Cheers, Rusi. Be sure to hit that like button on it if you could, please, bud. All helps. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have got a question, any questions, feel free to ask now. I am going to head off, though. Good, thanks, Nihal. How are you? Uh, it's a 45 ball drill or 45 ball challenge. This is what it's called. Glad to hear, mate. Who 
Okay. What am I missing here? I'm missing an eight ball. Interesting. It's around here somewhere. All right, thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to hit that follow button on the way out if you can, before I end the live. I'll hopefully be live again tomorrow, uh, but we'll see. Let's do a speed clearance on these balls to finish up. Pop these as quickly as I can. In fact, what I'll do, I'll make a line. We'll do a line drill. So I've got to do the line drill and finish with the black. All the yellows, all the reds, and the black in under a minute. In order. Start again. <laughs> Start again. Clothes. So if you go in, there's a menu button, it's like three lines, and it should say like cues, sponsors, all that. Try to get greedy and play the double. Yeah, if you guys want to see a recap of the uh tournament I was in on the weekend, go on my YouTube channel and I'm, I've made a 30 minute vlog of the whole weekend. Gives you an idea of what it's like to play on tour. Um, kind of behind the scenes, there's a couple of interviews with some of the professionals that you right, might recognise. What am I doing? <clears throat> Want to pop two in one? I can't even put one at the moment. One more go. Two balls, one shot. Got it. <clears throat> okay. Again, any last second questions, guys, feel free to ask. Just when I leave TikTok, like, oh, let's uh, throw some followers at you. 859 viewers. Good to see you all, guys. I'm shooting off now. Hit that follow button if you haven't already to be notified. Make sure you've got notifications on. I'm new around what's the channel's name. This is called Attacking 8 Ball. And if you guys are interested in merch, I've got new merch now with my logo available on my website, which is in the link in my bio. I also have hoodies, hoodies and T-shirts, but um, super comfortable. I'll be doing videos on this because it's actually really nice. Um, if you want to help support the channel, then obviously get yourself some merch from uh, from my website, which is in my TikTok bio. Yeah, the YouTube is exactly the same name as as the sign over there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my YouTube off. Thanks so much, everyone on YouTube for for, uh, for tuning in. And I'll see you guys on the next one.